So, do you think we should send out a Christmas letter this year? What would we put in a Christmas letter? Nothing newsworthy happened with us this year. What? Aren't you forgetting something? We are married. You moron. We got married. Oh. That was this year? Are you sure that wasn't a couple years ago? Oh yeah, I guess we could tell people we got married. What will we put in the next sentence? We could tell them about your new job as a lawyer. And how you sold out and went into private practice. I'm sorry. Could you say that again, but this time use words that won't make me want to remove your head. You could tell them how you help big insurance companies stick it to the poor little guys. You can't think of a warmer, fuzzier way to tell people about my new job? If the shoe fits. Let's move on. You could talk about your job. People are always asking and no one really understands what you do. Yes, I suppose I could tell people about my job. But then I would have to kill them. Why? Because what you do is so secret. No. Because after telling them what I do, they would be so bored I would be compelled to put them out of their misery. We could tell them about our trip to San Francisco. We spent the weekend together exploring the city. We did fun things like ride the trolley, go to Alcatraz, walk across the Golden Gate Bridge, eat clam chowder out of a big loaf of sourdough bread, and go on an urban safari. Yes, that was fun, but I don't think anyone else would find that interesting. Besides, the whole clam chowder thing was all you. We could tell them about the photography class we took. You mean the class we dropped out of, because it was so stupid? Yes. A four-hour lesson on how to turn your camera on was not what I had in mind. What else did we do this year? We started our first vegetable garden. Yes, but only after you spent the whole winter reading every book ever published on raised bed vegetable gardens. I like to know what I'm getting myself into. You also created the gardening vegetable spreadsheet. It was helpful to keep track of when and how to plant each of the vegetables. Oh my god, you are such a dork. You married me. Whatever. So we could tell people how we planted a variety of vegetables from specially ordered seeds. Yes, like corn, carrots, radishes, onions, squash, and peas. How did that work out for us? Most of them died. Then what? We bought starter plants from the nursery and planted things like tomatoes, strawberries, peppers, eggplant, zucchini, and cucumbers. Then what? Most of them died. What about the ones that didn't die? Well, Turbo enjoyed eating the tomatoes and strawberries. Some gross worms enjoyed eating the onions. Colin's dog Bailey ate all the carrots. I ate lots of radishes and peas, and you made a lot of zucchini bread. So after all that effort, research, and spreadsheeting, all we got out of the garden was some radishes, peas, and zucchini? Pretty much. That's kind of embarrassing. I think we should consider leaving the garden out of our Christmas letter. Agreed. But how much money did we save by growing our own vegetables? By my calculations, the vegetables we harvested cost us $512.62 per pound. Moving on, what else could we put in a Christmas letter? Spike is still alive. True. And Turbo is still the most perfect dog ever. Are you saying Spike is not the most perfect dog ever? Possibly. We could tell people about my new teacup pig. What new teacup pig? Exactly. I have an idea for next year's Christmas letter. What's that? We could tell them about our divorce. I don't think people will know you are joking. You are joking, right? Possibly. Well, let's just tell everyone we wish them a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Okay. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.